everyone, my name is Stella, and in today's video, we're going to be trying the 22 course tasting menu at El Cielo, a Michelin star restaurant by Juan Manuel Barrientos. I'm super excited to try it out, but also a little bit nervous because this is by far the most expensive and fancy restaurant that I've ever been to, but mostly excited. So yeah, let's go check it out. El Cielo rotates their menu every few months, and this is what we had in store today. So this is not actually the first dish. These are towels that we use to clean our hands, and we totally thought that they were mints at first. The first course was the passion fruit mistella, and you're supposed to take it like a shot. All right, here we go. Wow. What do you think? That is really interesting. It's like a very complex set of flavors. <laughs> okay. They said one bite, otherwise it'll explode. So. Yes, one bite. Mm. <laughs> oh, that's really creamy. I want to say it kind of is tomatoey. Tomatoey? I don't know how else to describe it. It's, it's like good. thicker than I thought. They said to break this in half. Stuff. Okay, let's give it a shot. Oh, that's really good. That's really good. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. Up next, we have Choco Therapy. First, you wash your hands in chocolate. Then you're supposed to smell it and lick it. Oh my god, this is really good. <laughs> then they add a natural exfoliant made out of coffee and sugar to scrub in your hands. Are we supposed to eat it again? Or? <laughs> Truly experiencing chocolate through all five senses. The next course was the Tree of Life, a Colombian bread served with a cilantro sauce and a caramelized butter sauce. It tasted so good. The texture was the perfect combination of soft and crunchy, and the bread had a bit of a cheesy touch too. We have onion and white chocolate soup. I'm gonna try the onion side first. That is a very good onion soup. Sam. <laughs> Alright, now let's try white chocolate. Very sweet white chocolate. To be honest, I'm still not sure how well they go together in my opinion. But I guess that's why they said not to mix it. So interesting. Interesting. So usually I'm not a huge fan of lamb, but I'm I think they'll probably do it really well here. Wow, I I don't really taste the lamb at all. Really? <laughs> In my opinion, it's good. Yeah, I feel like lamb is really gamey. I don't really taste it. Good to know. Next up, we had Lick Me, where you first take a shot of Colombian aguardiente, then licked a popsicle as the chaser. That's a real shot. My shot almost tasted like licorice -y to me. Interesting. The popsicle and like the spices especially actually helped the shot aftertaste go down. <laughs> The final four courses were served together in a Colombian coffee field, and it was such a magical experience. They filled the whole table with clouds, and it was incredible. The experience was absolutely surreal. 
It looks good on camera, but it was even crazier in person. After the clouds dissipated, we tried the last three dishes. Yellow butterfly. I just want to show off these uh these edible pages. Look at that. Crazy stuff. Oh wow. That is a lot lighter than I thought. I thought the texture would be more like banana. Truffle? Yeah. But it's like it's very light and creamy. Oh that's good. It's good because we are like so full after 22 <laughs> courses. <laughs> The last course was not actually food, but rose petals infused with lotion that we rubbed in our hands. So I'm back now after having tried the 22 course tasting menu at El Cielo. By the end of the dinner, we were so full, like I was food coming out. The name of their menu is The Experience, and I gotta say it really lived up to the name of the menu because that was quite an experience. Every single one of the dishes was really unique and had a really interesting, complex set of flavors. But at the same time, it all tasted really good, which is ultimately the most important thing about food, right? The total price was $350, and that is a lot for a single meal. But to some extent, I do feel like if you kind of think of this not just as a meal, but also kind of as a show or performance, it feels a little bit more worthwhile. Here's what I mean. Every single plate was beautifully crafted, you know, and every single time they would bring out a dish, they would explain to you, oh, this is the history of how this dish was created, this is how the ingredients were sourced, and there was a bunch of elaborate presentation as well. So if you think of this as not just a meal, but also like front row seat tickets to an immersive performance, then I think the $350 price point feels a little bit more worth it. So I would say if you're looking for something incredibly extravagant, full of many interesting sensations from taste to touch to smell, I would definitely recommend trying out El Cielo. And of course, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel for more fun content. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye!